How is it going, everybody? This is Sean Barnes. I want to welcome you back to The Way of the Wolf. This is going to be the last episode of the 2022 year. And this is the last episode of the second full year of the podcast. Last year at this time, I did kind of a year in review, a recap of lessons that I had learned throughout the year. And it seemed to resonate well with the audience. So I'm going to do something similar today. Before I dive into this, I would ask if all of you could do me a huge favor, take a quick 30 seconds, leave a review of the show, provide me some feedback on what I can do better for all of you. Feel free to rank the show or share it, like and subscribe. All of those things kind of help the algorithm get the information and the show out to more people. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and dive into this. First thing I want to talk about is distractions. We talk a lot about setting goals in our life, in our career, and in relationships. But what I don't talk a whole lot about is distractions. Now, distractions can be a good thing in moderation. There are times when we're pushing so hard trying to get as much as we can done, and we end up burning ourselves out. And sometimes a little bit of a distraction every now and then can help take our mind off of all of those things that are weighing us down. These distractions can come in many forms. If you're a car guy, it could be car mods or spending time working on your car or going to car shows. If you're into boating or jet skiing, that can also be a thing. Friends can be distractions. Netflix, that's a huge distraction. And while sometimes it can feel good at the end of a long day to just sit down and veg out and watch something funny to unplug, that can be beneficial. But it can also be a slippery slope. Make sure that you're not spending a half an hour and then an hour, and then an hour and a half or two at the end of every single day just watching TV. Don't spend your entire weekend sitting on the couch binge watching a TV series. It's not productive. It doesn't help you move towards your goals. I get that it can be a slippery slope, and I get that it's easy to kind of fall into that trap, but do your best to try to avoid those distractions. And a, and a trick that has worked for me, as soon as you recognize, uh, maybe I'm spending a little bit too much time doing this, move on. Go do something else. Preferably something productive. Even if it's just reading or catching up on emails or putting a business plan together. Whatever that other thing is, try to get away from those distractions. The next thing I want to talk about is how our goals can crush us at times. I had set a personal goal for myself since I had turned 40 last year that this year I wanted to be in the absolute best shape of my life. For the first six months of this year, I was doing everything I could to accomplish that crazy strict on my diet, no cheat meals, no alcohol, two workouts a day. And I was feeling fantastic. The first probably four or five months, I felt and looked amazing and I loved it. Towards the end of the fifth month and on into the sixth month, I started getting these nagging aches and pains and joint issues and soreness. And then I started having more issues with, with sleeping and cognitive function started to decline. And I realized that I was pushing too hard, that what I was doing was not sustainable. And I can actually remember having a conversation with a friend at dinner one time. And the question came up like, how long are you gonna be able to do this? And at the time I like, Oh, well, this is my new life. This is how I live. <laughs> It wasn't long after that that I realized, uh, maybe this is too much. Maybe this isn't 
my new life. And so I had to pull back a little bit. I had to recognize that I'm not in my 20s anymore. And while I do focus a lot on nutrition and hydration and rest and recovery, it just wasn't enough. I was pushing too hard. So I had to let up to start focusing on finding that balance. So make sure that as you are pursuing your goals and dreams, that it's not absolutely crushing you in the process. Let's talk about reading. Man, for the majority of my life, I have despised reading. It's just so damn boring and takes so long to do. And so for years, I would read short articles and content related to whatever it was that I was wanting to learn about at that point in time, but books were an absolute no-go. This year, I forced myself to start reading actual books. Now, there's a lot of good content in articles. There's a lot of things that are covered, and it can be very beneficial to absorb that information in little bite-sized chunks. But there's a lot to sitting down and reading a good book. And one of the tricks that I have learned is to start off small. And I basically set a goal for myself. Okay, I'm going to read 10 minutes every day. That helped. It helped start building those patterns and those habits in my life of doing something that was beneficial for me. And then ended up growing to longer durations of time each day. But another thing that I learned is also make sure that you're reading something that you actually enjoy and that you're actually getting something out of so that you can learn. Obviously, I'm very passionate about leadership development and coaching. And so the majority of my books on my bookshelf are around leadership and entrepreneurship and health and wellness, all things that I'm very passionate about. Spend the time. Find something that you're passionate about. Find the best book in that realm and take the time to read through it. Even if it's in small chunks, a chapter a day, however you want to carve it up, take the time to invest in yourself and start reading books and and absorbing the limitless amount of knowledge that is contained within books. Let's talk about surrounding yourself with excellence. We've all heard the phrase, you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time around. Man, that is so true. Now, I think through what is the best way to surround yourself with those people? Because inevitably, people that you want to surround yourself with are probably going to be busy. They're probably going to be out there putting their dent in the universe, which means you're going to have to make the effort to contact them. Not always, but if you start building a strong relationship and then you end up having a back and forth, you kind of pull those people into your network and allows both of you or all of you to push one another and to start growing. I have really good friends that are into health and fitness. I have other friends and mentors on the business side of things. And so whenever I need that guidance around business, around leadership, I know who I go to and I can lean on those people. If I want some thoughts or feedback around some programming that I'm looking at, I know exactly who who to go to. And the same thing with nutrition. I know exactly who to go to on the nutrition side of things. So it's almost like I've created this personal board of directors that I can lean on whenever I want to grow or learn something about another area. But then also those same people push me. They give me a hard time. Hey, the lighting on this episode wasn't all that great. Hey, you probably could have pushed harder in that workout. That's part of surrounding yourself with excellence is those people that can be brutally honest with you in a caring way, but they can be honest with you and make sure that you're not slacking. So find those people in your life. Surround yourself with them. 
Make a concerted effort to spend more time with those people that are going to level you up. Last thing I want to touch on is the ability to let people go. Man, this one's tough, especially longtime friends, family, relationships, business coaches and mentors. There's going to be times in your life where as you progress through the seasons of your life, that you outgrow them. And while unfortunate, that's part of our process. Not everybody is on the same path or journey as you are. And what you will find if you hang on to those relationships for too long, they end up stunting your growth or preventing you from being able to accomplish the things that you're capable of accomplishing. So you've got to make that very difficult decision of, is this what's best for me? Is there someone else that I should spend a little bit more time with and try to work with so that I can continue to grow? All of these things, when you pull them together, it's not easy to be able to shift and change these things in your life. But once you have the realization event of, yeah, this isn't quite right for me. I need to do something different. You've got to take action. Otherwise, you're just going to stand still. Okay, quick recap. Avoiding distractions. Don't let your goals crush you. Spend more time reading. That's an easy one. Surround yourself with excellence and let it go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I have for you today. I hope every one of you have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.